Right, I've copied over some multimedia to the machine, including uh, a Windows Media Video and some MP3s. Now this is just a, a 11 megabyte Windows Media Video that uh, came from Windows ME. So this was the demo video that when you boot it up. Right, so this actually isn't an MP3, this is a, a WAV file, it's 27.1 megabytes. So this is, it's, it's compressed but not terribly, like an MP3. So that's playing back. And then we have a couple of MP3s. off the local hard disk. Let's copy them over to a zip disk. First of all, I'm going to copy them over to the 100 megabyte disk and see how long it takes to copy. And then we'll try and play them back. Now, the amount of data we have here is 62.7 megabytes. So this may take some time. So it's 10.01. At least we get a progress bar this time. I was always under the impression that the minutes should be going down, not up. It started at 30 seconds, we now have 10 minutes remaining. Nine minutes, that's better. Well, I'll leave this recording and I'll fast forward. So, well, it's 10.02 now, so it's already been going a minute. This looks like it's going to be going until 10 past 10. So, I shall, I shall be back. Right, here we are. It's now 10.10 10 exactly, and the data has been copied over. So that took nine minutes or so to copy 62.7 megabytes over. So let's do a test. Let's play a video back, the same Windows ME video, and see what the performance is like.
not sure how well this is coming across on camera, but there is slight pauses in the playback. So it, it kind of judders slightly. But anyway, let's try playing back. with that actually it must catch it in memory because skipping backwards and forwards through this uh, almost 30 megabyte audio file was very quick let's try an mp3 now jump around the audio track and it seems to play back very well so I can only conclude that it must cache it in memory right so I'm going to eject this disk and I'm going to do the same test again but this time I'm going to use a 250 megabyte disk because this is the 100 We'll see what kind of performance difference we have with the 250 megabyte disk. So it's 10.13 now. We're done. So it's 10.15 now, 10.16 just changed. So that took three minutes to copy over and nine minutes to copy over to the 100 megabyte disk. So it's approximately three times faster to write to the 250 megabyte disks as it is to write to the 100 megabyte disks. And we'll do the same test really quickly. I'll try and play back the video. Interestingly, it doesn't look like it's skipped and the frame rate has dropped. So that was interesting, it doesn't look like it copied that to memory at all. Let's play the almost 30 megabyte WAV file. Opens noticeably quicker. And skipping backwards and forwards is just as fast as before. 
and finally an MP3. I'm going to delete these files now, I don't need them anymore. Actually, let's do a quick copy. So, let's copy this MP3 to the desktop. So this is copying from the 250 megabyte disk to the 100 megabyte, um, to the internal hard drive, sorry. That was pretty respectable. So I'm going to do the same test. And put the 250 megabyte disk back. Put the 100 megabyte disk in. And see how long that takes to copy. So that was noticeably slower as well, so definitely there is a performance hit when you use the 100 megabyte disks versus the 250. So I'm going to switch machines and we're going to do the same test on another machine. So I shall be back momentarily. Right, so I've brought out the trusty PowerMac G4 and this has a zip drive in it. Now I didn't know that you could buy a 250 megabyte zip drive for the Mac uh, that was internal. I believe this was just a, a 100 megabyte zip disk, but no, to my surprise and, and pleasure, I found that it is a 250 megabyte zip drive. So what we're going to do is, we're going to see if the performance is any quicker copying data from an internal hard drive over to an IDE connected zip disk. So first of all, we'll start with the 100 megabyte disk. So again, macOS has built in support for the zip drive. data on the zip disk. So copying data is a lot quicker. Bear in mind this is the 100 megabyte zip disk. So that was just about a minute to copy over these files to the hard drive. So that was the 100 megabyte disk. Let's see how much faster it is with the 200 megabyte disk.
and that was noticeably quicker. Now I was fiddling around with the software, the iMega Web, on my G4, and I came across this zip movie. So this was included on the Mac, on the Mac and the PC version. Yes, it is. So cool. The zip drive connected to your computer and its 100 meg disks give you endless room to store, back up, and move all your stuff. Zucchini, anyone? The zip drive and 100 meg zip disks for my Omega because it's your stuff. Let's go! Very dramatic. So I'm just going to try and play back the video that we played in Windows. So the performance is as expected. You can skip backwards and forwards. I don't think Windows Media Player for Mac OS 9 is a particularly well-coded application. Every time a pop-up appeared under the mouse, the video would stop. I don't think that's anything to do with the zip disk. Let's try playing back the almost 30 megabyte WAV file. So again, skipping backwards and forwards, it, it does seem that it does load the whole thing from memory. Uh, I would have expected it not to have performed as well if it had to keep reading the disk, which is, I could be completely wrong, but that's what it seems like. So that zip movie, 10 megabytes, and I'm going to copy it from the internal disk to the 250 megabyte disk, and we'll see how long that takes. Again, the mouse does some very bizarre things whilst copying data over. It's jumping all over the place, and I can't unfortunately expand this because I can't get to it. But that was relatively quick, that was a, a few seconds. So let's eject this. Now let's copy the same video over to the 100 megabyte disk and see if we still have the same performance issues. But as you'll see, the performance is a lot slower right into this zip disk. And interestingly, the label of the disk is zip100, which is what we set in Windows, although Windows itself didn't display that. 
next sermon on the Mac. So the format of this disc is MS-DOS according to macOS. I believe it's FAT16. So we'll choose erase disc. Still going to erase it for DOS format. Seven megabytes available. I'll erase this disk as well. shows 100 or 250 megabytes. Just there, it was showing 100 megabytes or 100 for the 100 megabyte disk before. So all in all, the zip disk was very, very useful. My dad was kind of obsessed with one. So I bought him one for uh, Christmas one year. And he probably still has it. He's a hoarder of technology like I am. And uh, yeah, so it was interesting to put the, the dramatic performance difference between the 100 and the 250 megabyte discs. I had read that there was performance, a performance hit of reading these discs on such a drive, but I didn't realise it was so dramatic. I would suggest that reading and writing data to these discs compared to these discs is approximately two to three times slower. And, and I would say uh, reading from these discs is probably about twice as slow as it is for these. So uh, that's very interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been a bit of a long video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs>